Myra Estrin Levine and the Conservation Model. Myra Levine was born in Chicago, Illinois on December 12, 1920. She grew up during the Late Depression with her mother and father struggling financially. She was the oldest of three siblings. Her interest in nursing sparked by watching her mother care for her father who was always suffering from stomach problems. She married her husband Edwin in 1944. They were married for 50 years and had three children. She died in 1996 at 75 years old. Levine completed her diploma in nursing at Cook County School of Nursing the same year she married Edwin. She worked as a private duty nurse, a civilian nurse during the World War II, before going back for her Bachelor and Master's of Science in Nursing. She went on to be a, a director, supervisor, educator, and professor. When she was a professor, she developed her syllabus, which became her first publication that addressed her vision of nursing theory. She was a hardworking and dedicated nurse who received multiple awards and recognitions for her work. Here's a list of some of her accomplishments throughout her years. Levine's theory stemmed from her personal experiences as a nurse, patient, and human. She reflected on experiences she witnessed as a child growing up during the Great Depression, as a nurse when she witnessed the patients experiencing terminal illnesses, and when she was a patient herself. Levine suffered the loss of her first child just three days after birth and was totally avoided by nursing staff because they were taught not to interfere with the grieving processes. It made her realize that nursing is a human interaction and there needs to be a change in practice because of it. As she further developed her theory, she revisited the previous works of Florence Nightingale, who stated that the nurse created the environment in which healing could occur, Claude Bernard, who helped her see the differences between external and internal environments that the individual could experience, Walter Cannon in his definition of homeostasis, Conrad Waddington in his concept of homeo homeoresis, and Paul Tillich, who wrote several books arguing that the concerns of humans drive them into confrontation. Her past experiences and the information she learned from previous theories helped create the main principles behind her theory, the conservation theory. Her major principles are the principle of the conservation of energy, conservation of the structural integrity, personal integrity, and social integrity. These principles are unique to each individual and together they create the wholesome individual Levine's model states nursing intervention should be specific to the patient, problem, and principle that are off balance to help maintain each person's unique balance and get them back to their wholesome self. Levine's concepts encompass the requirements of the nursing meta paradigm. The, nurse, the nursing standpoint is covered within the conservation of energy, health within the conservation of structural energy, the patient within personal integrity and the environment within social integrity. Her work has a clear domain and each concept represents a unique perspective for nursing practice. Her model is neutral and can be applied to many different aspects of nursing, including education, multiple different nursing specialties, and future research. Before further explaining her four core concepts, we need, we need to discuss important assumptions about the nurse and patient. Levine assumes that each individual is an active participant in interactions and is constantly changing to the envir environment around them and will continue to change over time. That is depicted in this diagram by showing the equilibrium or wholesome self state with a dashed line. The green line depicts the initial change towards one extreme in this situation X or Y. Levine also states a person has the ability to intervene or change themselves, a process she describes as adaptation as they return back to their whole self. Because every person is going to experience this process differently, nursing intervention needs to be based off the individual and unique behaviors of the specific patient. A successful nursing intervention will return the patient to their whole self or back to the equilibrium the equilibrium line. 
The conservation of energy refers to the nursing intervention of balancing the energy that goes in and out to protect your patient. The nurse needs to create an environment that maintains and preserves the perfect amount of energy, which is seen as the equilibrium or wholesome line. Some examples of interventions that nurses can use is providing comfort and blankets, extra warmth, limiting or balancing the amount of activity, providing nutrients like food and water, or assisting the patient with different activities of daily living so that they aren't consuming extra energy doing it all themselves. Conservation of structural integrity refers to the nursing interventions and care around maintaining and restoring the physical body by preventing skin breakdown and promoting healing. The wholesome person or the equilibrium line represents the intact defense of skin and mucous membranes that protects against diseases. Nursing interventions such as turning and repositioning or wound care or hand hygiene and prevent infection prevention mechanisms all maintain this wholesome person and protects against infections for the individual. Although some universal nursing interventions exist for each section, it needs to be specific to the actual patient. Structural integrity will change with a toddler and with an older adult, or with a healthy teen and with the, a patient that's immunocompromised. The, if the equilibrium line or the patient's wholeness is different, the interventions change. Conservation of personal integrity is another one of Levine's four main concepts. Personal integrity conservation recognizes that the patient is someone who seeks recognition, respect, self-awareness, and self-determination. Every person thinks differently about themselves because everybody is a different person. So again, nursing interventions will be specific to the patient. Nursing also needs to assess and intervene to maintain the conservation of personal integrity on issues that may not be so obvious. When a patient comes in with depression or anxiety, this will definitely be an area of concern and a focus for nursing interventions. But a patient coming in with, with an infected wound or decreased energy could also have some issues with their personal integrity. Conservation of social integrity highlights the importance that the community or a patient's support system makes up a part of their wholesome self. And nurses need to be aware that when in the hospital setting, we may be taking away from part of their wholesome self and should be providing interventions to help them maintain or get back to their wholesome or equilibrium self. This helps draw on the fact that each of the four major concepts are major parts of the patient's wholesome self and deviations in any one thing could cause deviations in the other, in the other concepts. So nurses need to be aware, need to be continually assessing and providing the best care. Another concept of Levine's theory is that the environment makes up part of the patient's wholeness. She divides the environment between external and internal domains. Physical beings, nurses, emotions, past experiences, all live within the external and internal environment of a, of a person. The environment, including the nurse's presence, needs to be in consideration when caring for the patient. Holism is the integrated response of the patient to the unique presences that populate their environment. Levine's complete conservation theory needs to incorporate the four main principles, the effects of the internal and external environment, including nursing present interventions, 
and patient's changes or, or adaptations. All of these components make up the wholeness of a person and will dictate how they respond to future events. This is useful to everyday nursing practice because it emphasizes the importance of treating the individual patient or the individual problems, but also keeping in mind and as continually assessing the needs of the whole patient and treating the whole patient when they enter the hospital. For example, you could apply Levine's theory to this patient case, a 30-year-old woman who just received a colostomy. Not only will, is there nursing interventions with energy, conserving energy, but also the structural integrity of her new stoma, the personal integrity of all the emotions regarding having a stoma bag, and the social integrity of involving her family and maybe offering her a support group so that she can talk with other people that's experienced similar situations. Park, Chung, and Lee conducted a descriptive study of around 500 patients with advanced cancer trying to determine the predictors of quality of life of these patients' populations. They found that people with advanced cancer experienced difficulty in performing daily activities as the most detrimental to their quality of life. Levine's theory can be applied to this study because instead of looking at just the diagnosis, you're looking at the whole patient and you can find interventions that help treat the areas that are affecting their life. Levine's Levine's theory is quite parsimonious because of its four principles that have a very broad basis. It allows for pretty much anything to be categorized under one concept. But on the other hand, that can, be, that can add to the complexity because at times there could be interconnected themes. There is a great value in Levine's theory in the concept of holism is now a largely used model of nursing. Patient-centered care promotes wholeness by realizing that everyone has different needs and the nurse must tailor his or her care to each individualized patient. There will always be ways that nurse can better their care for patients and the research can be continued using this model basis for as long as there are humans to research about. One middle range theory that was impacted by Levine's theory was the transitions theory by Afaf Melise. She noted and described interactions between the nurse and the patient, noting that the, the nurse is concerned with what the patient is experiencing as they process through the journey and endure the changes encountered. This is connected to Levine's theory in that it's addressing the changes the patient is, is experiencing and how the nurse can help them through it. It's a very holistic approach. And that's our project. Here are the references we used. Thank you.